Hi, my name is Rickard, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a light overlay in Photoshop. So if you want to follow along with this tutorial, go ahead in the description, you'll see a link to all the assets that you need to follow along, which includes the three overlays that we're going to use in this composite. So let's get started. All right, so we're going to go to File, Open. And we're going to pick the file called Alice Eleonori. Good. And then we're going to go File, Place Embedded. And what that's going to do is it's going to place a new file into Photoshop as a smart object. So we're going to choose this Light Overlay 13. And this is from my Light Overlays pack. We're going to turn it in here, Practical Light Overlays. And let's place it right about there. And you'll notice when I place it, we are, are automatically in the free transform dialog. So let's place it there. And then let's change the screen mode, the blending mode to screen, like so. I want it to overlap just a tiny bit. And now let's go to File, Place Embedded, and choose Light Overlay 31. In this case, we're going to scale it up to right about there. So it's kind of framing our image. And let's put that on screen. And then let's go File, Place Embedded. And the last one is 32. And this one we're going to scale up to about that size. And let's put that on screen. Now we have a little bit too much happening here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this number 31 overlay and just rotate that so that those dots are up there, right about there. And then we're going to scale it up a little more, right about there. Good. Now what I want to do is I want to adjust the color on these overlays so that they match the image more. And I like the kind of purple hue that we have in the image here. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Color Balance. And in our color balance, I'm going to take the magenta up in the midtones. And add some blue. And then in the highlights, I'm going to do Similar, add some magenta. And in the, sh sorry, that's in the shadows. So in the shadows, I do want some blue. And in the highlights, I'm going to add magenta, but I'm also going to add a bit of yellow. And be a little bit of red. Push it a little bit more toward a pinkish color. So that's kind of nice there. Let's hit OK. And let's do this one again. I'm going to go actually in this one because we already have color. Like if we turn off the uh, color balance here, you can see this is pretty neutral. There's some warmth in there and there's some blue in the reflections, but otherwise it's relatively neutral. So in that case, I'm using the color balance to push color into it. For this one, we already have color in here. So what I want to do is I want to push the hue around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Hue Saturation. And the shortcut for that is Command U. So now I can take the hue slider and move it over this way so we get that kind of purpley color right about there. Now that uh, purple is a little too saturated, so I'm going to take the saturation down a bit. And let's do minus 40 looks pretty good. And now the beauty of this is because they're smart objects, they have smart filters. And what I can do is I can hold down the command and option and click and drag those smart objects onto this. There you go, that looks quite good. Now I want to take the opacity on this down just a bit. And I also don't like this one here and this one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add the mask using this mask icon down here. Make sure my mask is selected. 
make sure my foreground color is black and then go in the brush tool and then I'm going to right mouse click make sure I have a soft brush selected um, I generally prefer this one you can see here you can kind of see the gradated steps on this one you can't and let's make it a little bit bigger but rather than making it bigger here what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down control and option that way I can drag left and right to change the diameter of my brush and then I'm just going to paint the ones I don't like paint them out a little and maybe add a mask here and just paint it up right there and there you go that looks pretty nice and there you can see the simplicity of adding an overlay to an image in Photoshop and the kind of effects you can get now this because the shadows in this image are uh, very cool toward purple whereas the highlights are quite orange what I might want to do is make some of the light coming in here warmer so what I'll do is I'll just add a blank layer and we'll call this warm light I'm going to use my eyedropper here just kind of select the warm part of our skin there maybe push that a little bit more toward an orange color and a little bit brighter so maybe around there and then actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a little darker so maybe around there and you'll see why in a second uh, so I'm going to go on the gradient tool make sure I'm on my radial gradient which is the second one here and then when I do my radial gradient I don't want to do it where it eventually is going to end up I want it so that the radiant the radial uh, like the circular gradient is completely contained otherwise it will be clipped at the edge of the canvas um, and I'll show you the problem with that so if I do it here and now I want to move it around you can see it's clipped so instead of doing that I'm just going to control Z there is I'm going to make it just to there that way now when I move it around I kind of have this uh, movable light so now I can put that here change the blend mode to screen and then adjust the size of it how I want if I hold down option as I'm scaling it's going to scale from that anchor point and if you notice that you don't have the anchor point go to your preferences under tools and make sure this yeah show reference point when using transform make sure that's turned on so there you go that looks pretty nice so there you have it that's how you add an overlay and adjust its color position and so forth in Photoshop and if you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe to my channel turn on notifications leave a comment leave a like it helps and I really want to hear what you have to say about these things so that I can get better in my next tutorial, provide you with higher quality content, and also teach you the things that you really want to be taught. Beyond that, the three um, overlays that we used in this tutorial are part of my Practical Lights overlay and brush set. It includes 60 different overlays and um, brushes all of them high resolution and you get a variety of different types of visual assets that you can use in both your composites and also just to spice up your photography you can see some examples here this is the before and afters and this is just adding an overlay as we did in this tutorial and I've included a link below for my YouTube subscribers, you get a discount, so use this link, and I will see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out these other videos, too.